I am so excited because today we'll get to finish the teaching entitled, How to Communicate with God. Amen. Last week we taught on Matthew the seventh chapter, verse 15. When Jesus had said, beware of false prophets, which comes to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravering wolves. And we're going to be talking a little bit about that on today. My point is that Jesus know who in fact the so-called super prophetess is, that's the Greek word for false prophets, and when that word is defined, it is to say a pretender. He knows who is pretending to be a Christian. He knows, Jesus knows who is pretending to be a minister. He knows who is pretending to have the gifts of the Spirit and when there are none of his properties at all. You can't fool God. You can fool Aunt Sally, your Uncle Joe, and you can fool everybody you want to. But you can't fool God. Amen. There, there is an old saying that kind of goes like this. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool God none of the time. Amen. You know who you are. Hallelujah. You know, before the internet days, and I live before, uh, strange as this may sound, because the young people in this studio audience, if they are looking at me and they just do not believe that I'm the age that I am because I don't look old. And I always tell people because I'm not old. But I remember, <laughs> watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, my audience is testing me here. I remember the days when there was no MTV. Now see, uh, 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 that blonde back there, she just fell out. What? Well, I, yeah, I can tell you right now. My point is that communication in terms of technology has increased since the day and time I first started preaching and teaching the gospel. You wanted to get in contact with somebody, you had to call them on the phone, and guess what? There was no call waiting back then. You call them and you hear the phone going, dun, 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 oh God, please get off the phone. I mean, much as I used to love to talk, my dad would be on the phone, tying up the phone, and I'm somewhere else at my friend's house, I would have the operator to cut in and tell him to get off the phone. You know how many times my dad got mad at me for doing that? It made a difference to me. Because I, because <laughs> when I was ready to talk, I was ready to talk. <laughs> I wanted to talk to him right then and there. But communication works just like that. If you will look at your TV and your computer screen, there are eight words that help to serve as the particular foundation to this particular teaching, and that is the word commune, commune, communicate, communicated, communication, communications, communing, and communion. So those eight words is found throughout the Bible, but our foundation scriptures, what you're seeing right there on your TV and your computer screen, which is taken from Matthew, the fifth chapter, verse 37, and Jesus says, but let your communications be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. And what he was saying, that Sometimes we speak things that are not true. If, if you say yes and you meant no, or you say no and you meant yes, that's a lie. And lying is evil. So much so it made the top 10. Jesus said that we will go to hell for telling lies if we don't repent of telling lies. So it is so important for us to speak the truth. Jesus said, if we don't speak the truth, evil will come out of our mouths and it can damn us to hell. Let me just say this today. You have nothing to worry about on Friday the 13th. You ain't got no bad luck coming your way in comparison to being damned or condemned to hell for an eternity. Yeah. Isn't it horrible that our mouths can be the worst weapons that we have as we would walk around as flesh and blood human beings? 
Isn't that something? So you don't have to worry about a witch today on Friday the 13th or a voodoo worker putting a spell and a hex and a curse on you. Uh, the greatest evil can come out of your mouth. Watch what you say. I'm telling you, you should, because if you don't uh, mind what you say, you will say whatever comes to mind. Hear, hear. And how well do I know that? Well, anyway, <laughs> today on the program, we're teaching, once again, how to communicate with God. Five principles I'm going to be giving you all on today how to communicate effectively. Hello, YouTube. I am so excited to talk to you all about the Godly Network YouTube channel. This particular channel, you will be able to find entertainment, inspiration, exhortation, edification, and educational videos every day right here on the Godly Network YouTube channel. So please, you, 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 all of you, do yourself a favor and subscribe to the Godly Network YouTube channel. You'll be so glad that you did. Thanks, everybody.